what is up risk takers welcome to the kill pete strategy i'm pete i'm a top player in risk global domination i have a twice daily show on kill pete strategy and free pete i'm doing weeknight streams on twitch and if you are interested in getting better the game of risk i invite you to subscribe to my channels come along the ride with me uh for today's episode we're doing five player progressive capitals europe advanced with neutral bot so we have two variables uh, we have slightly one less player. We have slightly um, the odds of people botting early, which means you're going to end up with a more fixed game for longer. I have a one territory take to have Scandi if I want it. Ah, uh, you see, I was going to cap here. Going to cap here and have that, that guaranteed take on Spain. So, all right. So we see Magenta's capital in Romania. We see the idiot Orange capital in Portugal. Folks, never cap in Portugal. It's always bad. Uh, <laughs> nothing nothing against the orange player. It's just a, a rookie mistake I see made far, far, far too often. Um, well, then I think I end up in noob corner. Based on this board, I hope there isn't someone here. I can cap in Netherlands. If someone does cap London, then I'm screwed. I can cap Denmark. The cap is weak. I don't see where blue went. We haven't seen black yet. Don't really have a better option outside of that. I could take the three, but that doesn't work. I think I am going to take Denmark, and we'll see how... Nah, Denmark fucking sucks, though. Denmark sucks. Let's take Scandi. Have a... Have a different part of the board, maybe. This two I like. No, 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 no. No, no, no. This too, I like. We'll try that. Take Scandi, then take Russia. Maybe. Okay, we don't see black. All right, five player game. My game is going to hinge on being able to hold my borders. Oh, fuck. Purple takes it. <laughs> Magenta takes it, turn one. Well, all right, the two territories, Scandi, not bad. He puts all his troops there, too. Okay, so, I mean, I guess I'm glad I didn't cap there. Maybe if I did cap there, you wouldn't have taken it. A really sweet bonus. Isn't it? Isn't it just such a sweet bonus? Okay. Orange can take Spain early. Do they occupy most of the... They do. They're gonna split off, hit the two. We'll see how much is guarding their capital. No, they hit the two first, so I can't even see it? No. Okay, split off. Oh no. Oh no. They they don't even get the bonus turn. Alright, orange is a noob. This is good to know. Hmm. Seven left on his capital. Let's see if we can figure out where blue is. I figure someone picked noob corner. I very much wonder where black is. Having five capitals in this game is interesting. Okay, so blue is in France. Blue is here. Blue cap. Here, here. All right. Um. Well, I need a bonus, so. What do we go for? It doesn't actually look like Russia is going to be all that valuable if I can't take it quickly. Well, what's my line to take it slowly? Let's see if we can get good rolls. That was not a good roll. That was not a good roll. Ah, too bad. Maybe taking Russia at least keeps me out of trouble. Okay, Black starts with eight troops. Where's Black's capital? <laughs> That's the last thing I need to figure out. Magenta, blue, orange, myself. Where's Black's capital? Black's noob corner. Great. So blue and black are going to fight with magenta. This is good. No one is on the east other than the magenta capital. <laughs> see what they take now. 
So I'll be able to take Russia and then hopefully Orient without pissing anyone off on the western half of the board. Good. Good. Because this game's probably going to play like a fixed game for longer, right? There's five players instead of six, so the trades will increase slightly slower. Your board position matters slightly more. If anyone bots, that will decrease the speed at which the trades um, accrue value even more, right? So this one is a lot more like a fixed capitals game without actually being a true fixed capitals game. I have an okay line to take. Um... Russia turn two, unless there's a big stack in the, the Karelia pocket, which we will find out. Okay, orange still doesn't take Spain? No, they take Spain. They now have five possible troops on their capital. Oh, man, I want to steal that. Oh, man, I want to steal the orange cap so bad. Orange so bad. Oh. Orange, you're so orange, you're so bad. What are you doing? Okay, well, my option to do that is removed. Orange is attacking a lot. I don't think I rushed to take Russia. Get it? Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to put everything on capital, not hit the Magenta 2, and, and run up into these three territories, go pop, pop, pop. And then we can pivot and take it on the third turn. It'll it'll put me a bit behind, but that's okay because I'm not offending anyone and hopefully my opponents do, right? Hopefully black hits blue in some regard. Either moving up into noob corner or this way or vice versa, black hits blue, right? Magenta's going to be the strongest player this game. Blue sees me, Magenta sees me. And yeah. Black was in the pocket, but now they're not. So we have a 10 capital. We'll take Russia turn three. I'm okay with that start, but it's not great. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This man's going to leave no troops on his capital. That is so risky. <laughs> All right. I can steal your cap, man. Oh, boy. Five troops, huh? He's really guarding a Scandi pocket rather than his capital, which is probably a mistake. Um, I don't have quite the troops to take it, though. <laughs> Did Orange hold both? Yeah, so, okay. So, Orange is terrible, but... They now have a ton of board. So now what we expect to see is them over attacking and upsetting everyone. Orange might steamroll this board. They're taking North Africa now would be my guess. Orange and a strong potential to steamroll. Then what happens to me, right? Their choices will be... They either go up through Italy, go up through Greece, go around and take Orient, or go up into Russia. Orange, I bet you, has all of this now. I don't think it makes sense for me to break on Egypt, but it also might be wise because they're going to be so fucking strong. I don't think the, the three troops matters. I think I have to trust in Orange being terrible. Like, knowing that they captain Portugal is really bad, right? Blue gets 11. It's still off. Bonus is real. The way these settings are, I don't actually know that people will be able to contest orange. I have to just take my bonus and not guard and cap stack. Blue's probably interrupting black. Find a cap stack, maybe hit a little bit. Exterior. 
have some some semblance of a guard. I don't think blue breaks me. I think blue has his own problems. Let's see. Okay, did black get anything? Black moves quickly. Black only is Iceland. So so I think black and blue are at war over Great Britain. This is my guess. Black is somewhere here. Blue is here. Orange is here. Magenta is here. Nobody's yet here, which is my saving grace. My hope is that orange either goes this way or this way, and not this way. Okay, Magenta would like to involve themselves in Great Britain. It's bad for black and blue. My big worry still is that uh, orange steamrolls. Orange can get like 20 troops here. This is the problem. No one has stopped him. I could have taken three of them. That doesn't really... Oh, only 12. Okay, not as afraid. Not as afraid. I don't think orange is really good. Anyone who caps in Portugal is either memeing or just doesn't, fundamentally doesn't understand how to cap. So I, I get this question from time to time and I'll share it with you. How do you determine what's a good capital? And uh, the way I responded to this was caps and corners are always bad. Um, caps and locked pockets are probably bad. Um, caps that help you guard bonuses are good early. And then caps that are open to take cards are good. And I chose a pretty good late game capital in this game. It didn't help me guard or take the bonus quickly. I took it turn three. Let's see if it holds. Blue would be the one I would expect to break me if anybody, but I think they're busy. I think they're busy in France. These guys all jockeying for position around the noob corner. Which I like. This will give me a chance to expand a little. Mm -hmm. Cool. Blue's hitting Italy. When they reach orange in Africa, do they keep hitting? which would trigger Orange to focus their attention into this front and push up back into Italy, further giving me a chance to expand in the east, which I need. I need time. I just need time to occupy a lot of board. We hold. In blue. In three positions. Happy with that. Orange sees me. Maybe they decide to break. I don't think so. I think they go after blue in Italy because that's more close to their homeland. <clears throat> now we're occupying 20 territories holding Russia. Should be good. I don't spend a lot of troops on guarding. Maybe I should take in that plus eight. See who breaks me. Okay, Magenta's still getting 13. Magenta is very strong, but they're keeping almost no, cap no troops on the capital. Relatively, right? I don't think you want a 15... Guarding a plus three, and then your capital's a plus two, right? <laughs> you think about it that way, but also it's your capital. You lose it, you're kind of fucked. Magenta's playing okay, though. Magenta's definitely playing better than uh, than Orange, Captain Romania. I like Captain Romania. Not the, not the end of the world. Curious to see if Orange gets 20 troops now. Also, I still have a one in Dinaric, which is interesting. It breaks again? No, it takes Denmark there. All right, well, we've learned a lot about Magenta. Magenta's strong in two positions. Yeah. And Orange can get 20. Mm-mm. It either still doesn't have North Africa or Blue broke. My hope is that Blue broke, and then they're going to focus this way. Staying in draft. Ah, damn it. That's what I didn't want to see. 
I didn't want to see troops there. That looks like a guard stack, though. Yeah, he's not attacking into that front. I think I take Orient here. And I don't guard it at all from Orange. Because if Orange is going to break it, he's going to break it. But I think not threatening Orange allows him to focus his attention into these other two fronts he has, which I want. I want him to hit those two ways, not this way. So my move to, to hopefully get him to do that is to not hit the eight, but rather go pop, 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 and fortify back to capital. That way he's not pressured on that front. It might fail. Blue's still getting 11. Yeah, 10 troops. Blue just all oh, trash. <laughs> Blue player's name is trash. Um, they have France, right? They hold, they have a capital and they hold France. No one has lost their caps yet. So we take the Orient pocket slowly. Orange sees me do this. I have the troops now. Let's see if I get the plus eight. I'll put a four on capital, just in case Orange decides to run up my ass. I don't actually have it. Took the plus eight instead. I don't think I hold um, either Orient or Eastern Europe. I call it the plus eight all the time. And the name of the territory is Eastern Europe. Plus eight is actually the largest bonus on this map. <sighs> if I do hold both, that'd be great. I have a lot of board, right? This is a good fixed position. Blue skipped, I didn't realize. Blue skipped a card, okay. So I'm gonna get the four, six. I'm gonna get the eight trade in the first sequence. Black getting seven. Black hasn't really moved from Iceland. I wonder if Blue's blocking off Italy, or if Orange is going to run up into it. Okay, Black's attacking a lot. Okay, Magenta gets 13. Twenty-two cap feels good. Magenta sets gets the four. Do they involve themselves in their exterior position? I think orange orange runs up. I think orange runs this way. They're facing no resistance. That's okay. I don't think I wanted wanted to roll an eight um, stack to break a plus three anyways, which would have just caused them to send their eyes this way anyways. I don't want them looking that way. I. But if they do, they do, and I'd rather them have no resistance than, than also lose stacks. Yeah, if purple doesn't break Eastern Europe, I don't think orange does. I think orange hits. Yeah, they do break. Okay. Okay, they do break. Got it. I've learned a lot about magenta. I cannot have nice things. Yep, orange sets gets the six. Go up through Italy, go up through Greece, please and thank you. Looks like they are. I hold a lot of board, right? Do I want to retaliate on Magenta? No, they're running up that way too. Fuck, okay. I mean, I could have a massive stack. I could run all the way into Africa. Don't break my Russia. If they get to my Russia, I'm upset. 5-4, come on. Okay, good. Good, good, good. This is fine. You can't have that piece of the board, sir. This is where I run into orange with all of my might and shrink them drastically um, because they're, they're, they're at least two turns away from a trade. I'm going to get like 20 troops, so I'll be able to break most of what they got. They start with 16 again, or they start with 20-something. 15 again. Yeah, I'm going to hit this guy. You do not get to take a piece of orient, unfortunately. Worst case scenario, I uh, hold a bunch of board. Maybe I reach their capital. 
That's the ideal scenario. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I might reach their capital unguarded, steal it from them, and then they might quit. Blue's hitting a lot. Blue's in. Blue might get the uh, orange cap here. Let's see if we see the number change. No, I feel like blue pummeled orange. So let's see if I can add to the party. Yeah, like that. Okay, so what do we get? Twenty-four. I think we can get to the capital. You guys think we can get to the capital? Let's let's see. Nope. Decent guard there. No way I can get in. I'm gonna guard Russia. Definitely don't want to lose my plus seven. Should send a message to Orange. Hopefully it's the right one. Black Sets gets the 10. Do we have cards on three? We don't. Okay. Magenta getting 17. So Magenta doesn't need to hit me again. They broke the plus eight. I'd love to see if Magenta continues to involve themselves in the noob corner. So, Orange is a garter. What do we learn about Orange player as a garter? I think Magenta setting here. Doing. Hitting black hard, right? Or blue. Black might be on the ropes. Black might be here. I don't know. No, Black's Iceland, right? Almost for sure. Still getting seven a turn. Only five now. Where's black? Black might be dead. Whoa! Whoa! Magenta just hit the blue cap. Magenta just hit the blue cap. Okay. Uh, orange hit 19. Does that go up my ass? They got an open line to hit a 16 stack. Maybe they stop when they reach a speed bump. All right. Some serious action just happened in noob corner. Yeah. Orange isn't going into me. He is, but only with a 12 stack. Good. 12 stack. Fine. You can retake his bonus and sit there, right? Okay. Sits there. Good. Me having a three in Netherlands is hilarious. I still have it. I can see everything that's happening. And he pulls back to guard. Sure. He says, you can have Orient if you give me North Africa. Blue sets. Blue didn't lose their capital, but they almost did. Now they're punching. Yep. Uh, those are capital troops. Those are capital troops. Okay, so if I fuck over Magenta here, Magenta actually ends up super fucking weak. Let's make sure that Magenta stays off bonus now. We're going to go pop, pop, pop into Dinaric. Yeah, that's how we do it. We don't hit their capital. So they can retaliate with capital troops. And I'm also going to go pop, pop, so I can actually take Orient and see if Orange lets me hold for free. If we have an undefended border there, that'd be great. See if Orange likes this. They should. But we learned they're not very good at the game. So they might not understand that play. If I get to hold most of this, I'm pretty good. We weaken Magenta. Ooh, no set on four. We weaken Magenta significantly here because they broke me. So they, they could have not. They could have chosen not to. I saw them make a good move. I saw them make a big move with a set. Now they're at least three turns away from a set. Black gets almost nothing. Five troops. Only their capital. Mm -hmm. Okay. Magenta's no bonus. Blue went all the way around. Is that a quit? No, we're attacking. They have a stack somewhere.
And they retake. 13 also breaks. Oh, you need to break me, dude. All right, let's see if orange does. Yeah, 22. Let's see if orange does. So I'll still hold the plus eight then, unless orange hits me on all three fronts. One, two, and three. They might. I think I, I made the let's be friends play, right? I checked here rather than raised. Yes, they're attacking elsewhere. Okay, two caps. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold so much, guys. This is where I fuck over orange. They attack not me. So th that means this line is mostly open, and I finally get to their capital. Does blue have cards on three? Yeah, they don't break me at all. Wow. All right, let's see if blue is a set. Wow, orange has three caps. Holy shit. Time to hit you in the bottom of the map. Blue gets seven troops, which means they have Iceland. So what, black is only here? No. Okay, blue sets as well. Great. That's not a problem for me. That's a problem for other people. Uh-huh. There's a cap there. And they took it back. Blue has two caps. Orange has two caps. <laughs> that means black is almost dead? This could be black's final position. I'm going to get so many troops right now. And this will buy me time. Okay, let's see if... Yeah, no set. Let's see if uh, that's Black's final position. It is Black's final position. Ho, 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 ho. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Orange might be killable. And we hold a joker. What a turn. Folks. What a turn. Okay. If I can kill Magenta, don't set again. But I think the smart move is to take Orange's capital. Yeah, good game. I agree. I think you guys might be fucked. Huh, there's a cap. Good. I'm gonna keep one orange territory behind us. Just in case someone gets the bright idea to steal that kill. That's game. That's game. Everyone dies. Fuck yeah. Feels good. Everyone dies. We have a guaranteed set on three from the Joker. Yeah. Magenta Susan to Blue's capital. <laughs> Magenta Susan to Blue's capital. Okay. Can someone take the Magenta kill? That's bad. He's given his own kill away for free. Who could chain that? Orange could maybe chain that. I don't think Orange does. Yeah. Heartbreak Orange. <laughs> Hero to zero in a single turn. That's game, folks. Everyone dies. Lovely. Feels good. It's always so satisfying. <laughs> I remember one time someone commented on my YouTube was like, Pete, why are you such a tryhard? You know? And I was like, buddy, I'm I'm so crazy competitive. You have no idea. All right, that's it. He just took a card and passed. I like winning. What can I tell you? You do too, probably, if you're watching the show. Uh Yeah, he quit. He's like, there's no chance. Fuck this. Fuck this, man. Good game, Blue. Ah. Uh. <sighs> Oh, 
who also quits. <laughs> it's like, fuck this game. Yeah. Well, that's GG, folks. If I ever saw one. The Gs are, in fact, G. There we go. Take a card. Good job. Take a card on not me. <laughs> Don't stop me at all. <laughs> what is this, turn 10? Yeah, I went on turn 10. GG, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Kablawe. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see the ranks. Bunch of noobs. Yep. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. And if you did, click the notifications to be notified when I come out with those two episodes a day. One on free Pete, one on the Kill Pete strategy. Doing all sorts of stuff. Drew got me making posts on Instagram. Uh, I stream weeknights on Twitch. I'm, I'm a busy man, folks, but I love doing it, and I hope you do too, so thank you. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.